Destroyed houses, burning buildings and ruins. This morning in capital of Ukraine, Kyiv. At night, the city was bombed. Russians attacked several districts at once. In Podilsky, the enemy shell hit a 10-story building. The apartments from the first to the fifth floor were ruined. One person was hurt and in the Svetoshino district, shells hit two high-rise buildings. Two people died, 27 were rescued. The situation is very difficult. 14 units are working on the spot, as well as 52 people from the personal staff. How many people remain in the house is still unknown. Rescues try to put out the fire and look for victims. The blast wave also damaged the facade of the Lukyanivska metro station. In Rubizhne, the Luhansk region, as a result of shelling, a boarding school for children, a city hospital and three schools were destroyed. Four people died. Mykolaiv was also shelled last night. There were shellings, but at the moment I don't understand the exact location of damages. But I feel that the residents of Mykolaiv are getting used to shelling and start ignoring the imaginary danger. As for now, everything is calm. Russian troops and several missiles fired Kharkiv. Fires were in the center all night. Under the shelling there were shops and ordinary high-rise buildings. Seven people dead. The rubble and eliminate the consequences of yesterday's airstrike on Okhtyrka continued to dismantle. Several residential buildings were completely ruined. Three people were killed. We were bombed, like every night. We have been bombed by airplanes and rockets, funerals left behind. In Rivne, as a result of shelling to a TV tower, 19 people died, 9 people were injured. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, UATV News.